tunnel is blocked off. We'll have to find another way around. Watch my step. Focus, Jewel. signal is just up ahead. Hang on. It's another crawler. I activated my beacon five days ago. Your canine unit took a long time to find me. Is he all right? Mac? He's fine. He hasn't been affected by whatever's making the other bots go crazy. This whole planet's gone crazy. <sighs> Kai Bren, core maintenance. Jewel Adams. Atmospherics. I've been trying to scavenge parts to repair my leg, but we haven't been able to lower the big core bots close to our crawler. I can't move fast enough to hunt him down. And Seth? He's too scared to go out on his own. Well, if you want, Mac and I can find the things you need. Really? That'd be great. Here, take this. Mm -hmm. You'll need it more than me. I've got a list of all the parts for my leg inside the crawler. I'll send it to you over the radio. Okay. 
Sure. And Jewel? I'm glad I'm not alone out here. Me too. Hey, Jewel, you read me? I hear you, Kai. Go ahead. The parts I need should be in the nearby Corbot hive. I'll mark it. Okay. June 8th, 2053. The first transmissions came through. And the news from Earth. It's too terrible for words. During our voyage to Far Eden, Dust Devil broke containment and raced across the globe. The Mandate was able to launch the last of the evacuation ships, but everyone left behind. Billions of lives. Gone. How do I tell the other teams? Tell them that everyone they ever loved is dead. That they're the only ones left. No. I can't. Not now. There are only a few more days in my shift. I'll sleep. Tell them next time I wake. After all, what difference will 30 years make? Earth will still be a tomb. This must be the place. Hey, Kai, we're here. Sounds easy enough. Well, the problem is these guys don't like sunlight. So you'll have to search for them like this. We got this. Right, Mac? You got the scent, Mac? <laughs> Take a look. Buddy. we need. Let's get him back to Kai.
to me. 